Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. And you know what Tuesday means? It means we're talking about money. <laughs> money, honey, with my virtual CFO, Megan Dolly, which I don't have her name up on, but I will do that right now while you tell us why we're talking about what we need to know, because we like to bury our heads in the sand about money. You know that. Oh, yeah. Totally, totally, totally. And uh, we get this foggy feeling and we think, well, maybe marketing will fix it. Maybe maybe more sales will fix it without really having a good idea of what is it that you really need to know to make that next step in your business, right? Instead of a guess, you sit back and think about, okay, what do I need to know in order to take the next step? That was actually the question that came up with four of my clients in a row last week. Ooh. Getting to the core of, Megan, what do I really need to know? Well, here's it. Here it is. This is this is what you're really looking for. This is what you really need to know in order to feel good about that next decision. Um, okay, wait. Everyone, go get a pen and paper because I have a feeling you're going to want to write this down <laughs> <laughs> before we go forward. Because I feel like I'm getting my pen and paper ready. Although hopefully I know what I'm supposed to know, but not always. Always more to learn. Okay, everyone's got their paper ready. Go ahead, Megan. What do we need to know? <laughs> so the, what do you need to know? The question to that is going to be different for everybody, depending on what phase their business is in, depending on what your resources are. Um, and really part of what you need to know is, well, what phase of business am I in? What resources do I have at hand? And getting that full picture instead of letting that cloudiness kind of like feeling and then you just take a handful of spaghetti and throw it into the cloud yeah. like okay hold on so for one client she needed to know what the potential was for her business because going through all of this this covid stuff and where she was before and what she is now and um like hang on a second what's the potential here for my business because that might open up some options to sell it that might open up some options to bring somebody in in terms of oh marketing is where I'm falling down. So for her, that was the answer to her question. The other one was, um, should I even be in business right now? Like, <laughs> is this viable? What do I need to know about my business that's, that's worth saving? Okay. Right. And so when, or if even in growth mode, another example was a client that was in severe growth mode. I mean, she's growing like crazy and she's okay, like, is this my future? What, what do I need to know about what's coming around the corner? And is this like me for the rest of my life in this business? Cause I don't want this to be it. What do I need to know about how this can change? Um, and it also answers the question, what am I missing? Like, I feel like on the other side of that cloud there, there's something I should know. What, what is that? What is that that I'm not really seeing? And so when we're digging for that answer of what do I need to know, we start with, well, what do you do know? And let's take a look at the numbers from the other angle and say, did you know this? Did you see this? Did you see that this product was subsidizing the rest of your business? Did you see where um, you used to have cost of goods sold sitting around 30% and now they're up to 45% and that's what's eating away your profit? Did, did you see that? Did you know that? Um, and why is that? Let's fix that or let's let's sit in whatever mode that you're in until we fix it and then move on. Right. So there's different modes of business, right? You're going to be either in validation mode where you're just like starting out. Can I sell this thing? You're going to be in growth mode of, yeah, I can sell this thing. Let's go do it and build the structures behind it. Am I in maintenance mode where woof, we've had some good growth? Now we just need to like, let's sustain it. Let's make some profit off of what we built. Or are we in recovery mode? Like, ah, it's slipping. Help, help, help. What do I do? What do, I do? <laughs> yeah. It's, and it's true. It's really key. I mean, we talk about this a lot in my group, Profit Insiders for Interior Designers, and I'm starting another group in a couple of weeks. Um, because I like having people in the group that are at different levels or different stages, building, maintenance, or recovery. And I always start with your sales and your profitability on every single job, right? Are you making money on every single job? We start with that, and then we start digging more into, okay, now, do you want to just maintain your stage of life? 
you're maybe uh, older, you want to just maintain what you have. And what you're saying is that that would be maintenance mode. Like, I just want to be able to maintain this. And how do I do that? Right. And where should I be spending my money in order to maintain? And then I have people in the group and in my one-on-one clients who are building, like, I want this to be huge. And other people go, I don't want it to be huge. I just, just want to make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Like I just want to get to that number. Yeah. Right. So, or they've taken yeah. a dump during yeah. COVID and they need to recover. Like you said, well, how do we do that? What service models do we have to change? How do we have to change your profitability in order to get you to that recovery? And then maybe you go into growth mode right. or maintenance mode, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. And so um, people usually think that's really easy. I mean, I think marketers have a really easy job of selling their marketer thing if they're good at marketing, right? Because, oh, marketing will fix everything. Well, hang on a second. Your marketing might be on point. What you really need to know in, is, well, what's my next step? If my if if I want to get to that $100,000 and I'm at $50,000, what you need to know is, well, what's working and what's being subsidized so we can cut out that subsidy stuff. Psh, and grow what's working. And it might not be work marketing. It might be pricing. It might be um, your referral funnel. It might be a jillion other things other than marketing. I, I always say, you, well, I said to one of my clients the other day, we priced, we priced everything right. Every single job you have now is profitable, but we're not getting enough consults. So what do you have? You have a traffic problem, right? Traffic problem. You need more traffic to your website. You need more traffic to your social media. You need more traffic to your services so that people know you exist. So how do we work on traffic? And when we come to talking about money, it's like, do we spend money on traffic, increasing traffic? Or is it right now you're not that busy, so let's use our time. Time, money, right? Time or money. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes both. So... So what you need to know about money is what I'm hearing from you is based on, and I totally agree, where you are in your business, what what you want for your business. Right, right. And that doesn't mean you need to know all the numbers. The answer to what do I need to know is not everything. (laughs) The answer to well, what do I need to know is going to take some pause, some introspection, and maybe start with like a, um, a cash projection a cash projection in 30 days. Like, okay. All right. Now that I know where I'm going to be at the end of the month, I know I need to backfill or I know I'm going to be fine. So I should start filling the month after that. Whatever that answer is, that's a, that's usually a really good place to start is, okay, what are my cash resources? What does the future look like and where are the holes that I can see? And here's, here's everyone who's listening or going to listen on replay. I can tell you based on experience with my clients, what you're doing instead. Well, I'm trying to get my processes in place. I'm working on my procedures. I'm working on my this, I'm working on my that. And I'm like, but have you actually looked at your numbers? Have you actually created a marketing plan? (laughs) No, they're hiding behind the to do's behind their computer. I need to fix my contract, which I'm not saying you don't need to fix your contract. But my point is, is that you need to split your time (laughs) between the things that you're hiding behind. You got to come out from behind that once in a while and actually look at your numbers. Think about what stage of business you're in and how do you achieve the goal you want to achieve? Yeah. Right. And that's and that's all that we work on in my group and in my one on ones. Um, and I know you work with your clients on that as well. Like, let's actually look at the numbers and see what the numbers reveal. Because yeah. they always reveal, it's like magic. <laughs> it is. It is. And it doesn't have to be scary. It's not scary. I won't That's even scary. make you do math. I'll do the math for you. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Megan is one of the uh, sub coaches in my organization, meaning my one-on-one clients. Uh, when the timing is right, get a session with her. And then when I say when the timing is right, it's because I need to determine if they're focusing on the right things, have their process in order, have them nailing their sales, their ladder of services and all that stuff first, their marketing. And then we go here, Megan, go dig into the numbers and then let's see 
how we move forward from there. And it's kind of cool because then they can see all the little pieces and how they fit together in that in that numbers world and like, oh. Well, and it's really good too because they see the progress. It's like a beginning and then when they're done coaching, the end, right? It's like, in the, that's where my case studies come from, from really the numbers, not just like, oh, someone's happy. It's like the numbers don't lie about how much more, how much more profitability they have achieved in their business, whether they're in any of these building maintenance or recovery modes, right? Mm -hmm. The goal is to take you from recovery to rocking it. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> right? Or, or maintenance to rocking it. So, all right, well, anything else we need to know? Mm -hmm. I hear you've got no. something coming up. This new group I'm starting, I'm so excited because I have the, um, this will be my, I've, I've run many groups over the years, but this third group of the Profit Insiders for Interior Designers is um, definitely my favorite group structure that I've ever formed before. So it's small group, it's mastermind, it's lessons, it's 12 sessions over six months. Plus they get, you know, I love Voxer, the walkie talkie app directly to my phone. People are messaging me right now, some of my clients. So they get to ask me questions about what's going on in their business today, struggles they have with their clients, uh, plus access to the membership site, plus their website review, plus the social media audit, plus your lesson inside the membership site on how to do the Profit First Light system that you and I created together to, to, for my clients. So it, it just includes so much that uh, everyone always has great success with it. So I'm excited to start my third group. That's cool. So That's if cool. anyone's interested in that, I'll be doing a live about it probably later today within the group, the Interior Design Business Forum about if you're interested, it's by application only, because I always want to make sure I have the right mix of people, because that always makes for much greater success. Absolutely. So, okay. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Money Talk Tuesday. If you're coming in late, just go back and listen. It was really good stuff as usual. And thank you, Megan. You're welcome. My pleasure. And tell everyone how they can find you and what you have going on. Hop on over to megandolly.com. I have a um, tomorrow, Wednesday, and I am doing a cash flow workshop where you hop on in. I'm going to give you the worksheet and we're going to work on creating your cash flow as we're right there in it. And so it's tomorrow only, no replays, free. Did you say free? This time it's free. Yep. Okay. So make free. sure... <laughs> First one is free. Get in while it's free. So you know what? Make sure you put the link in the comments afterwards for that. And it's tomorrow at what time? Uh, noon Central. Noon Central. Okay. Very good. All right, everyone. Um, great seeing you all here. See you next week for Money Talk Tuesday. And if you're interested in applying for the next group of Profit Insiders for Interior Designers, my group coaching program, I will also put the link in the comments uh, so you can apply. It's two weeks of applications and then we shut down. Oh, and Megan, I forgot to mention, they not they get one one-on-one -on -one with me as part of oh their- That's always yeah, so nice. Plus, the one-on-ones really help me get, understand their business and help them move off the fence and make decisions. But the first five people get two one-on-ones with me during the six oh, month whoa. period. Uh, so that's yeah. really good. It's so <laughs> pretty stinking good deal. <laughs> it's a good deal. It's a good deal. So, all right. I will see you next Tuesday. Bye, everyone. Have a great Tuesday. Bye.